All right, Hello. what is up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Vaping Iwi, also known as the Gaping Iwi, also known as those two gay boys, whatever you want to call us. Um, the French guy with the dad bod. <laughs> yeah, the the French dude with the dad bod, um, and butt plugs in his ears, cause why the fuck not? Um, all right, today on the show, it's going to be a super short one, uh, short and cute. Um, short and cute. Yeah, is that what we're going? <laughs> that's, that's what everybody calls Cam. Um, yeah, yeah that's true tonight on the show we do have the uh, liquor juices uh we've got the three new ones uh that have come out there there, there we go oh the mango is like completely transparent oh no mango is not it's the... so with the oolong though because it's got the yeah 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 it's still got that orange bit that shines through but um, this is like completely see-through all right so before we jump into the review side of things and the tasting and all that sort of jazz they are from hb vapor hb vapor did sponsor you know send them up to us and all that they are pretty reasonable priced as well uh 19.99 for a 30 mil i believe it's 9.95 for a 10 mil as well so 19.95 and 9.95 nice. so not too bad pretty good price especially for some good juice from liqua i love that name sorry uh beard is on point cam by uh evil dead nz um what's up yeti um how's it going young cool so we'll quickly Beautiful go through plastic. what we're vaping on tonight uh i've got my three devices well two devices set up for these liquid juices uh and then two others that i'm just using um you'll start us cam you start us on that shit okay so i've got the rsq with the uh, berserker mouth to long so this is for two of the juices because they are very very cold um i do also have i don't know what it is but i fucking love this rda at the moment the phobia on top of the legit one i think i've had this for the last what well, last week as well so it's just like in my rotation at the moment and um lastly oh that juice is fucking on point um the omen with the kennedy 25 mil i can finally let go omen 25 mil um so i got this today and laurie hasn't left my hand since i just noticed there's a bit of juice Look how are you doing yeti old. you beautiful bastard i miss you man loud enough you, you sound pretty loud i don't know man i'm quieter than you by this looks Isn't of that... fucking thing uh gain 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 all right there we go uh, it probably doesn't help that my mic audio is like down all the way hello that's probably better all right um what am i vaping on tonight i've got the fucking this thing <laughs> the smock uh with the non-tank by wismac in that i do have the ice cream mango uh i've got the enduro t18 with the uh frosty lychee i'll go over that in a little minute why it's in a t18 and then the oolong teas are nothing right now, but it will be. Uh, I've got the Minikin Reborn uh, with the Valerian on top uh, with some <laughs> fucked up bitchin' custard. I'm sorry, every time I hear Valerian, I just think of a Varian. <laughs> uh -huh. And then I've got the Nemo mod, uh, the Omen, uh, with the gold drop on top. And in that, I've got some Viva La Vape Bubble Ninja. Um, that's all I'm vaping tonight, keeping it nice and restricted. No, sounds we're both even no sounds we're both even. this is where grammar comes into play <laughs> no sounds <laughs> no sounds we're both even okay <clears throat> dude this yeti they they are fucking amazing tubes new zealand made the first we'll go over this in probably a later review yeah we'll do a Definitely. joint show um as we do now anyway uh on the omen but we will also do reviews on the side so like proper uppy closey time and all that shit um closey time copyright but anyway let's get into these juices um so cam if you want to spit a bit of information about these apart from price uh where um, we come from. okay so the Oolo we're going to start with the oolong i believe mm -hmm. Hello, dude. I love a good tea, so this is going to be interesting. Um, this is one I've only just vaped. Like, literally, I just opened it, cracked the seal, and tried it now. So it is fresh on my palate. Um, 
enjoy this flavor anytime with a delightful hand processed green oolong taste with a natural alluring fragrance the creamy and silky texture will absolutely make your day dude okay the smell of it the smell of it tom like it just reminds me like almost of like an Earl Grey kind of smell. It smells like tea. Yeah. <laughs> Cotton bacon. Prime. It is crystal white. I've been vaping on it during the show and it's dry hit white. Go on, mate. Give us that. Give us that oolong goodness. Oh, yeah, i got to nug this. Cause... Okay, so... I'll give you my thoughts on the juice um, while well, Cam gets his himself ready uh, in more ways than one. Um, it is very, very different. Uh, it's definitely not something that Kiwi taste buds are accustomed to in the sense that it tastes so different to what else, you know, everything else we've got here. Um, I'd say it's a bit overpowering in the floral department. Uh, it's very much... Fragrant. Fragrant, yeah. Very fragrant. Um, it's definitely not something that, that is from my palate, uh, my sort of taste uh, in terms of vaping. Uh, but I can imagine that somebody who really, really like passionately loves tea would enjoy it. <coughs> um, most of these juices I'd suggest use in a mouth-to-lung device versus definitely. a sub-arm or direct-to-lung device or an RDA and all that kind of stuff. Um, I mean, us testing them out tonight, I've got some in the NOM tank, some in the T18, and I do have a RDA in front of me, but I will not be vaping any in the RDA, we'll go over that soon. Uh, but yeah, Cam, thoughts? It tastes like tea. I don't know if there's a simple way to put it, it's it's definitely got that fragrantness to it, I do get that creamy, like little bit of milk little bit of sugar kind of going on i don't know if you get that creamy milkness no. but i taste fucking milk it's, i get it's tea. weird so you, you get the bitterness of the tea mm. very much so so oolong tea naturally is bitter anyway like i mean that's what it's all about it's got that sort of earthy bitteriness to it um and that's very floral yeah that very floral aspect to it which is what the tea it tastes like yeah, as well. too long. um but if I had to compare this to like a cup of tea, this is like it's so strange for me. Like I don't mind a good cup of tea, but to vape vaping a cup tea? of tea just mm. I found the same with the poet sweet tea as well. It's like yeah. vaping tea just feels weird. Like I'm so used to vaping desserts or fruits or, you know, anything else that's not a tea. And, yeah. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I love it. Jinx. Mm. How's it going, Greg? You beautiful bastard. Oh, Dude, you Americans up, are up late, Dave. 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 I miss you, Dave. Same day. Um, we need another Tearing of Vape Day weekend. That was fucking awesome. Yeah, maybe not not as far. Maybe a Northland Vape Day weekend. That could work. We've have we have a venue now. A, yeah, yeah, we a. Do. that's true. Um, yeah. So anyway, it's good flavor. Yeah, you know, we'll tea move lovers, on. Coffee, you know, you drink kind of guys. Yeah, you you people who drink the co- I mean, who vape the coffee vapes, <laughs> drink, drink the, the coffee, coffee vapes. <laughs> that that'll be right up your alley. Like honestly, anybody who loves tea and all that kind of shit, that's that's right up your alley. I guarantee you that. Uh, moving on swiftly to the um, ice green mango. Ice cream mango. Ice cream mango. If you're a mango lover, you must try this juicy green mango with yellow flesh. So as soon as I read that, I get almost like a bitter kind of sound to it. Like or sour, like you sour, know, like a yeah. like an unripe mango is like real sour. You will experience the cooling, refreshing taste of the hot tropics. All right, so going into this. Mango on point, like on point AF, like fucking tastiest mango, probably not tastiest oh, around, but tastiest fuck mango. It's definitely up there for me, man. Yeah, like, it's, it's definitely, mango. definitely in my top two mangoes, but, but the cooling side. So this one in a sub tank 
that is low wattage sub ohm tank, like a 30 watt sort of sub ohm tank, spot on, great, fucking awesome business. Uh, in an MTL device, spot on, awesome business. Anything that is a high powered sub ohm tank, say for example, you know, in your 70s to 120 watt sort of tanks, um, I find the coolness is very overpowering. It's I, intense. Um, yeah, it's it's we, very very much intense. So we we like I guess you call it skyped. We zoomed before, like when we received these juices, and we're like, you know, let's let's try a couple. And I made the mistake of throwing that straight into an RDA, and yeah. I was just like, whoa! I would it, it definitely hits. You. I would honestly never recommend trying that in an RDA. I did the same thing. I was like, you know, it should be like any other juice. Put in an RDA, it'll be sweet. Hit it, and it is like too cold. Too cold. It's, yeah, let's put it. Let's put cold. it as that. It is way too cold. Um, not necessarily something that that here the palates are very much accustomed to. Um, Unless you're a mouth to lung vapor. Yeah, you're if you're a mouth to lung cold. vapor, you are sweet. That is awesome. Like yep. it is fucking brilliant in an MTL device. Um, wouldn't say it's awesome in a like super sub arm or RDA, like basically. Well, Berserk RDA, you know, yeah, yeah, MTL to lung, lung, so direct RDAs, to lung. I would RTAs, say that stay a bit cautious with it. Uh, like I said, uh, if you're using pre made coil tanks, your 30 watt kind of coils will be sweet, but your fucking 100 watt, like if you put that shit in a TFE 12, you are fucked, dude. I, I fucking love the fact, like, that cooling effect. I, I've been sick for, what, a week now. My yeah. nose is fully clear right now. It's it's on point. Yeah, because it's fucking releasing all the fucking shit from your nose. It's like airwaves. It's airwaves with a nice fruitiness to it. It's definitely refreshing. Um, Out of the two cold juices we've got, this is definitely... The least my, cold. My number one. Though. And the least I, cold. And the least cold. So... We- I don't know if you guys remember flashback to the one of the first vaping EWE episodes. The we blue did juices. the yeah, we did the blue juice. So the Sub Zero uh, by iVape Australia. That is cold as fuck. Like that. That is cold as fuck. This, this is, is a, whole, a nother whole nother level of cold. Like this is <laughs> like, I dare you to drink a glass of fucking ice water right after vaping this kind of shit. Like. Just like you used to do when you were at school, probably. Well, I don't know. I did at least. We used to challenge each other to drink a cold water, a uh, cold glass of water after having some airwaves. Like, that shit fucking... Oh, next oh, level dude. months you are. It is cold. It's like... Uh, where, where, the fuck are those? where are they? Where are they? I'm going to find them. I'm going to find them. So I am using it in a gnome tank. Sitting at 70 watts. It's 0.2 ohm coil. Um... And it is, it is borderline, borderline, like, very throaty, um, sort of, almost cough-inducing. Um, I don't know if you've ever had these, Tom. No. Okay, so these are like, think of, um, 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 um Grandma's little cough drops? They're like throaties, but yeah, on yeah. a whole nother level. Yeah, yeah. These are like eucalyptus and menthol yeah. central. These, and then drinking water, burns. Similar sensation. Similar to the lychee for me. Um, uh-huh. uh-huh. about we'll get into here. that in one second. But this this is definitely my numero uno out of the whole line. Out of the, the whole the line? Mango. The mango heads, yeah. Well, favorite for me um, out of those three. Um, but yeah, let's let's dive into the realm that is that lychee. Um, uh, give me a sec. All right, so the lychee. It's called Frosty Lychee. It is the theme of our background today in the show. Uh, we are in a winter wonderland. Um, Do you want me to hit you with that profile? Hit us with that profile, and then I'll talk a little bit about this. All right, so dream about the pink fruity lychee. It's naturally, or it's natural cooling taste, slight honey overtones. Yes, your dreams will all come true. With an unforgettable, fresh and juicy flavor. She is definitely refreshing. Yes. All right. Should I dive into this, or should you hit us with what you think of it first? Give me a sec. <sighs> breathe, buddy. Breathe. Mm. 
Normally I can French in hell with a mouth to lung, but oh fuck. Okay, that is okay. So the lychee is all right, completely fine. It's it's not the kind of lychee I'm used to from having a lot of Malaysian juices. Holy shit! Oh, sorry, I'm crying a little. It is fucking cold. If you're into like your super 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 menthol juices, this is probably as much menthol or like as cooling as you can get in a juice that I've found today. I dripped that in an RDA and and couldn't breathe for a good minute. Like it is very fucking cold. All right, so <laughs> good light though. All right, in a mouth to lung device like a T eighteen, so it's in here. Yeah, not too much coldness, a little bit of lychee. I mean, you know, it's an MTL little pen, so it, it's not really that cold in this because that's, you know, that's the coil and so on and so forth. Now... Drip it, you won't drip it. If you put it in an RDA, if you put it... I've got some in the norm tank right now. It is pain-inducing. Like, it is throat and top of mouth pain-inducing. It is like... I feel it in the back of my yeah. throat. And, and the top, like the palate, gets yeah. really cold. Um, I would not, under any circumstance, recommend using that juice with anything other than like a starter pen that's mouth to lung. In all fairness. Or a mouth to lung RDA if you're really that adventurous. Um, it's difficult to word this in a way that's not going to come off as being a dick. <laughs> um, but basically, for me, that's that's not something that I would recommend to anyone, uh, purely for that factor that it is way too cold. Like, it is yeah. pain-inducing cold. Um, I've put some in here. <coughs> oh, I'll go through the explanation of what I'm feeling. Uh, and that is basically like someone's fucking scraping a razor blade across the top of my mouth. Like, it is fucking painful. It's, um, cold. it's very, very cold. And if you were to exhale it and inhale it through your nose, uh, it, your it fucking burns. Um, so. You know what? Science purposes, Tom. <laughs> yeah, go on, mate. Do, do you do you. But that's the thing, like, I, first thing, I picked it up, I swacked it in RDA, I was like, oh, it'll be sweet, you know, 0.1 on a VTC4, you know, my normal shit. And hit it, and I was like, never normal again. Shit? What? Yeah, but I was like, you know, never again sort of thing. Um, you, you, you definitely are feeling right now what I'm meaning about the, like, almost pain-inducing, uh, which is really sad, because the other two juices were, were really good. Um, the mango... The breathing after you're vaped is yeah. cold. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong, the, the lychee flavor in this is... On point. Like, as I said, on The lychee point. is delicious. Just reduce the cold. Like, it yeah. is too cold. Um, <coughs> I mean, Liquid's probably not going to watch our review on this, but, you know, if you do, that would be, like, what I would suggest. Just drop that Same coldness. Here. Just a, just a I mean, coming from... So, coming as a customer first... Um, if I was to pick that up, put it on RDA, to be honest, I'd make an opinion straight away not to try anything else. Um, if I'm coming from a juice, uh, maker sort of side, uh, there's definitely too much fucking cold. Um, too much chill, uh, WS, in that juice, yeah. yeah. Whatever was used, whether it was <coughs> WS or anything else. Crystals um, or, yeah. Or whatever was used, it is just too much. Uh, whether this is just a dud batch or whatever, who knows? Um... But yeah, that shit She's fucking cold. rips you a new one. Fuck me. Like, don't even try it on an... Well, I mean, you can try it on an RDA if you want to have fun, <coughs> but that's about it. Um, in a fucking MTL starter kit, gog for gold, that shit would be brilliant in a pod system. If it was Nick Salt's 25 meg, I'd use that in a pod system all day. Because that, that lychee is fucking on point. Um, you do get that subtle, like, honey undertones. But then you get blasted with fucking cold on any other device than a starter pen with MTL. Um, which is sad. But hey, all in all, two out of three, great. Um, I'd give the, the two, the oolong, I'd probably give a four out of ten because I don't really like tea as a vape, but I'd say it's yep. still a good, good tea. Um, <coughs> the ice cream mango, I'd give it like a nine out of ten. 
Yeah. Um, the accuracy on the mango is brilliant. Like, it is beautiful. Um, fruity as fuck. Uh, a little the bit chilling. The cooling's not too bad. It's not too yeah. bad. But then the, the lychee, I'd give it a 0 out of 10 because I can only use it in a starter pen. Um, I've tried it in different MTL devices as well. I do have a, a B2K with an MTL adapter. Tried it in there. And that's that's still all right. Like that's very restricted, and it's it's very much like flavor content. Like you're not getting that cooling flavor as much. Yeah, than, yeah, it's yeah. flavor sitting more than anything else. In this shit, in fucking an RDA, in any tank, just 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 don't. Sadly. Yeah, I mean, for me, if they made this like a. <clears throat> Because what blend is this? I believe it's a... 7030. Yeah, it's on the bottom of the box. Do you have the box? I do. That's right. I remember telling you that the other day. Mm. Oh, my nose is running again. <laughs> 65% VG in the Oolong. So yeah, but 65, like... 35. Like, are these the same? Same level? Uh, yeah, 65 Okay, so being a 65... If it was 50-50... If it was 50-50, be I'd understand MTL. in an MTL. Like, I'd understand yeah. that you're, you're directing it towards MTL, but being a higher That's going crazy. VG, uh, mm -hmm. I would say it's a lot more orientated towards people who have both, uh, sort of an MTL and a direct-to-lung. <clears throat> uh, whereas, yeah. if it was me personally making this juice, I would put something on the bottle saying, use only in MTL devices. You know, like to get best results using MTL device. Yeah, I mean, as as Dave said, liquor for me is like when when I think of liquor, I think of using it in like my ego, you know, yeah. my VV Nova. Yeah. Which this is definitely catered for that. I mean, the mango I'm gonna drip the fuck out of because I don't mind that coldness and that kind of reminds me of like um the likes of Kenji nasty juice or those kind of yeah. cooling kind of juices that are out there. Um, that slight <clears throat> cool hit at the end to to yeah. bring that fruit forward. Yeah. To bring that fruit freshen, from like freshens it up. Yeah. Yeah, but it's also to bring that fruit from a sort of artificial fruit to the actual fruit itself. That little bit of coolness helps you. Um yeah. Yeah, just yeah. a little bit. But when your <clears throat> when your coolness is just that much more, you're no longer in that realm of bringing that fruit to real fruit. You're in the realm of fucking burning throats um, and caring later greg i've i've got a what a 60 mil bottle just full of a thousand milligram ws23 and just holding the aluminum tin that it's sitting in it's fucking cold yeah like yeah that's cold to the <clears throat> touch so i'm i am assuming i am thinking that they've used ws23 uh yeah. in the both the mango and the lychee but there is a much higher a percentage Ratio in, yep. in the lychee than there is in the mango um all in all, go pick up the ice cream mango, see what you feel about it. Pick up the frosty lychee if you feel like it, but beware. Like, yeah. be warned that it will fucking... How is it on coils? I've honestly... Clean. Where's, Clean. Where is it? Um, coils don't tarnish from it so far. So good. So, yeah. They, you they can't even tell there's a coil clean. in there, but that's, you know, over a week, week and a half use. Because they're not overly sweet, like they're no, not like sucralose there's... central. It's 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 subtly sweet, like sweet like the fruit, basically. But but yeah, but yeah, cold, too cold. Um. Anyway, guys, it's gonna be a really short show this week, but that was basically to smash out this review, get this out for you guys, so you guys know. Um, I believe Hawks Bay Vapors, HB Vapors. Here? Yep, they're the ones who obviously sent us it for review as well. Yep. So I do have to say a massive thanks to uh, those guys again. Jason, I know you're out there. Say thanks to Melissa and the crew for uh, hooking us up with the three out of the line. Um, <clears throat> next couple weeks, whilst whilst we're talking about it, um, it's probably not going to show up on the screen because it's, no, it's green. But with Tofo, Bravo, uh, TA, we'll be getting a review very, very shortly. So independent reviews from now yeah. on. Um they will they will come out when we make them um so there will be the expert the watofo bravo the omen um and a bunch of other stuff as well that we've all got lined up uh so those will be occurring more frequently than shows shows will drop down to a fortnightly business 
Um, and it will be basically just juice and sort of heads up to what we've reviewed. Um, or if if we've got, you know, the same products, then it might be it, it could, a week yeah, or, it, you know. It could be something like that. But yeah. um, what we will do as well is um, do, you know, like on the shows every fortnight, we'll do advocacy as well as juice and stuff like that. Um, Good to see you again, Greg, or see you in chat at least. Hell Don't miss yeah. you Americans. It's been too long. But yeah, on that note, Cam, let's check up some clouds and GTFO. GTFG? Uh, yeah. Or GTFO and G? After I've got some food, bruh. <clears throat> Dude, I'm keen for some food, too. I'm in clouds. Oh, look at you, Tom. Look at you. 